everybody. Thanks again for jumping on the call. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Lori Court. And Jamie, I want to thank you for having me on tonight. I always love to come on to these calls. It's a ton of fun. Um, I'm going to tell you tonight a little bit about something that we are super excited about. Um, it's something that everybody here has been working on for probably eight or nine months, and we're really seeing it start to explode. And it's something that probably the person that asked you on wants to share with you as well. And so a little bit about me. My name is Lori Court, and I've been in this industry about four and a half years. Um, every single moment of it with Mr. Jamie Cheerio, who's on this call as well. And so we've uh, locked arms many years ago. And uh, this is something that we're incredibly passionate about. I actually own also a traditional um, business, which I've owned for about 25 years. So I know that grind and I know what it takes. And it was about four and a half years ago when my son actually came to me with this concept. And uh, after doing not a ton of research, but a couple of days, I looked into things and was completely blown away that I hadn't heard anything about this before. And so looking at the participants on this call, you guys, I'm going to talk to you tonight um, to, as millennials, like from me to you as millennials, because I think that really what this industry has mostly done for me, it's changed my passion in life. And now I wish every single day that somebody had spoken to me the way that I'm about to talk to you tonight, because if that would have happened, my life would have changed many, many years ago. And so with that in mind, um, that's enough about me. I want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing. And it's actually called WATABU. Okay, and WATABU is an acronym. It stands for Worth Talking About. And it actually kind of came to fruition because we were looking for a way to start a business that was more than just profits. Like, obviously, that's important. You have to be in business. But we really wanted to come up with something that would impact people, okay? And not just, like, for a moment, but for it potentially long-term, over many, many generations. And so um, when we were thinking about this business, you know, we kept thinking, like, you know, what kind of product would get us there and all this kind of stuff? And, and then it occurred to us, we're like, okay, so what are people looking for? Like, that's the key. What are they looking for? So we took, we took a look around and we saw, first of all, with you guys, your age group, right? You guys are like, you know, some of you are working, some of you are in school, but every single one of you is chasing a weekend, right? I see it with my own kids. I have five kids. I've watched it happen. Um, for my age group or even like 35 and over, you know, what are we doing? We're working 50 weeks a year to get two weeks off, right? So everybody's chasing that. They're chasing time and they're chasing vacations and they're chasing having time to spend with their kids and go out and do new things and experiences and we're like boom of course why not make that the product right why not make what everybody wants the actual product and so we actually came up with travel and uh, everybody got really excited about that because i think that like as humans like that's kind of inbred i think that we all want to go out and experience new things and new cultures and not just be stuck in our little like 10 mile radius for the rest of our lives so we knew we were on to something and so we realized that a couple of things first of all the travel industry is huge okay and and there's but there's niches and we found one and that's what's so exciting is we realized a couple things one is is that everybody who's traveling nowadays i i, I mean if I had to guess, it's 95% or more are traveling and booking online, okay? And that makes sense, right? Like we are an instant gratification society. We want to be able to get things done now. We're all very, very busy and be able to do it on our own time, point and click and be done is super attractive to us. So we looked around at like the competition and we're like, okay, so there's Expedia, there's Kayak, there's Orbitz, there's all these things. And those are great companies, right? They, what they're doing works. We know that. So we knew we wanted to kind of follow that model, okay? We wanted to have a portal that was very, very similar to theirs. But we also understood that if we didn't do something different, we would just be them, right? There wouldn't be anything that set us apart. So then we started to think a little bit more. We're like, okay, so yes, we do want to impact people. Like the mission is the forefront to Otavu. I want to keep that really, really clear. Like we really want to make an impact. So we realized two things. One is, if we really want to impact people, we have to start with young people. Okay, like my age group, you know, there's like we're impacted already. There's not there's not a lot we're gonna do. Okay, but but for we had to make it so that you guys, so millennials bought into it. So that was the first thing. There were two reasons why. One is is that you're the best trendsetters on the planet. If you like what's going on, you're gonna tell people. Okay, that was key. All right. So that's the first thing. And then the other thing that we realized is that if we could make this attractive enough to young people two things were going to happen as a result. One was you guys were going to buy into the idea, live your lives like that, and thereby just embrace this. Okay. So that's perfect. But secondly, 
is you're going to not always be a millennial, right? You're going to grow up, you're going to have babies, and then you're going to bring these concepts into their lives. And that gives us the opportunity to make an impact, like potentially forever, like long, 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 long term. And so we knew that in order to make it attractive to you, we had to figure out a way to do this. So we looked at what Orbitz, Kayak, all those guys are doing, and what they're doing is they're buying their travel down here at Wholesale. They're marking it up, and then depending on whatever the industry supports, right, if it's spring break, if it's Christmas time, whatever, they charge their customers the difference, okay? That's how they make their money. That's how they stay in business and how they become profitable. So we realized that, okay, so if millennials are the people that we really, really want to be able to buy into this, we had to keep this affordable, like really affordable. So what would it look like if we were able to offer it at wholesale? Like how would that look? So we looked around again and kind of studied the marketplace and it, and it, it clicked. It wasn't long and it clicked and we knew there was one concept. You guys have grown up with it. My generation is comfortable with it. Just about everybody on the planet is comfortable with it and it's memberships. Everybody's got one. You have, you have a membership to something. You may not think of it the same way, but you, it's true. There's gym memberships, there's Netflix, there's Sam's Club, there's wholesale um, Costco, all these different things where if you are a member, if you choose to be a member, you can access exclusive benefits, right? Um, I remember even my kids growing up, I think I paid for Xbox Live for like 15 years, okay? And, and what they did, they basically just played games with people all around the planet, right? And, and then they built like a network of people that they knew, and that was a membership, right? And I never even gave it a second thought. So we realized that's it. So rather than profiting or running our business and being able to stay in business, by, by making profit this way with markups, instead, we're able to do it with memberships. Okay, so again, it's just really simple. It's a travel portal. You book online. We have ridiculously discounted travel based on the fact that we can keep it at wholesale. We are able to offer it to you at wholesale by offering memberships, different levels of memberships, depending on what works for you. But this is where it got really, really interesting, and this is when we knew that we had something amazing, okay? And this is fun and exciting and I think you're going to get it because you guys grew up with these devices in your hands like they're almost an extension of your fingertips you know what I mean because of that that's where your eyes have always been it's what you're used to so we knew that if we wanted to be different and get the word out and have it be impactful on people that we couldn't market in a traditional fashion because it's not a traditional business and so what we decided to do was forego all traditional marketing. Okay, so there, there are no TV commercials. There's no billboards. There's no print ads. You're never going to hear about this on the radio. Nothing like that. Okay, instead, what we decided to do was to take the idea of marketing, take the idea of the mission, which is to get people doing things worth talking about, okay, which is subjective. It's whatever it is to you, by offering people the opportunity to do those things, and then asking them to share it or having people share it through their social media. Okay. And, and if you guys, I mean, I, even me at my age, like I was at Leo's the other night with my family and we were all on our phones. Like, and, and I know that's rude. I'm sorry to even tell you that, but the, the fact of the matter is that's what people do. That's where their eyes are. So not, why not give them the opportunity to go out and have fun? Okay, whether that's through a road rally, whether it's through Zorb Soccer, which we've done, Oregon did some really fun air mattress races down waterfalls, okay? And the thing is, is that you can go do those things, and you're going to share them anyway. So if Wataboo offers you the opportunity to go do those things, we do them monthly, sometimes weekly in the summer, right? They offer you the opportunity to go do them. You're still going to put them on your social media. We just ask you to hashtag Wataboo thereby helping us brand this company, okay? And that is how this thing is gonna go viral, which we already see a viral component with it. So the beauty of it is this, by being able to offer wholesale travel, by being able to market it online, through social media, through those networks, we have been able to actually grow this thing into several countries now. Um, all 50 states are doing it. And all of these things that we're doing are being duplicated around the world. And what's happening is we're getting more and more and more people asking us, what is Wataboo? It looks fun. I'd like to have a part of it. And so because of that, we consider it to be more of a pull marketing, not a push marketing, because we want the mission to stay front and center. So we, by gamifying our actual marketing process with offline competitions, like I mentioned, and then online competitions, too, where you can go out with your friends, grab a camera, do whatever it is for the theme of the month. There's trick shots, best fall adventure. 
take some friends, grab a camera, get some footage and upload it to Wataboo.com. You also have the ability to go out there and win different things through Wataboo. Now to make this full circle for you, whenever you go out and you play these things, whenever you're going and you're doing Wataboo, teams win. Right? There are winners, all right? So if it's Zorb Soccer, there's a winning team. If it's a road rally, there's a winning team. If you put a video online and it's the team that has most shares, most watches, most, you know, whatever it is, contact, you will win a Wataboo sponsored vacation, thereby putting people back into the marketplace, right? And able to brand Wataboo for us. So there's more to it than that. That hopefully gives you a quick overview of why we do what we do how we're making it work, and why it's super, super exciting for young people. Guys, let me tell you something really quick. I wish, honest to God, I will swear on the Bible, I wish somebody had told me about this more than four and a half years ago, like 40 years ago, okay? Honestly, do not disregard this without understanding it. What is going on here is that there's so much to be gained by being a part of something like this, okay? Whether it's the networks you're building, my kids, Jamie, these kids that I know, they have built insane networks and people, their stores opening for them all the time. Maybe it's just doing something fun and, and actually living intentionally. There's, there's something I have to tell you and I'm going to pass it off to Jamie. You guys, this isn't a dress rehearsal. Okay. We're all issued one life, one life. And, and it's no secret. We all know how that ends, right? So take that time, like do something with it. Don't just check things off a to-do list. Don't get so caught up in routine that you think that you're waiting to be 60 to go do something. Like, don't do it. You'll regret it. Take something like this, make it intentional, take time for yourself every single month. And then on the side, if it works for you, build a small business. And if it doesn't, just come and have fun with us. So I have said enough. I'm going to actually pass it off to Jamie Cheerio. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about Jamie. For those of you that don't know him, um, I consider Jamie to be part of our family, for sure, like a bonus son. Um, when I first heard about this, my son Tom introduced me to this industry, again, four and a half years ago, and it was interesting because I got on like a company call, kind of similar to this, and the first person I heard was, was Jamie. I didn't know it at the time that he was local, but he was being interviewed by the CEO, and he's um, articulate and smart, and then he spits it out that he's 19 and I'm like he's what he's 19 no way you know but and then when he said that he was going to Michigan State University I knew because I'm in Michigan that that was the young man that I wanted to talk to and uh, I did call Jamie and he was kind enough to call me back and from that point on like this story just has evolved into this amazing friendship great working relationship. Um, he's, it's, it's funny because since I've met Jamie, he's never had a job, like a punch a clock job ever, but he did before that. I'll let him tell you about that. Um, he has traveled the whole world more than me, and he's done it all in the last five years. Um, he's been to, I don't even know how many countries, but a lot. He's been to Europe three times. Um, I get to live a little vicariously through him because I am still stuck in a traditional business. So, so take this for what it's worth. Take what Jamie says really and, and listen closely. Um, and he's going to bring this thing around and kind of tell you where it goes from here. So Jamie, are you with us? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yay. Yes, I am. Thank you so much for having me on. Yes, absolutely. Well, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the call. Lori, thank you so much for getting on the call as well and kind of sharing your story and really what you have going on. Uh, it's exciting, guys. It's absolutely amazing what's possible if you um, you know become a part of this with Habu family. It can change your life forever like it's done for me and like it's done for so many other people all around the world. But you know, really quick, just to give you guys a little bit of background on me and move into you know kind of you know closing this thing out. I'm Jamie Cheerio. I'm 23 years old, and um, I've been my own boss now for for uh, five years, you know, as of a few weeks ago, and it's been absolutely surreal. Um, you know, I got started when I was 18 years old, and I was going to school full time at Michigan State University for business, for marketing and advertising. Not necessarily because it's something that I wanted to do, but really because I didn't know what else to do. I think that business can sometimes become the new undecided, and if you have no clue what you want to do with your life, go to school for business. That was me. And I was also working part-time at Taco Bell, like Lori alluded to. And the one thing that I learned from working at Taco Bell was that I never wanted to work there again. And I knew I wanted something different. And I was blessed to meet this guy named Luke Hessler, who's one of my best friends, my business partner, my mentor. I met him when I was 18 and he was 19. And I walked into a dorm room and here was this kid standing on a table telling us how we're going to change the world, how we're going to make a million dollars. And my first reaction was, this kid's crazy. 
my next reaction was this kid's excited. This kid's passionate. Two things that I wasn't. I wasn't excited about school. I wasn't passionate about my job. So I was willing to listen. I was willing to do something different. And Luke completely blew my mind. I didn't really know that it was possible at a young age to go out and create a six or a seven figure income with no college degree. I thought that was absolute BS because my parents, they taught me, you got to be smart to make money. Therefore, go to school and get good grades and get a good job and go work 40 years of your life. 40 hours a week to retire on 40% of your income. And I did what I thought I had to do. So I went to school. I got really good grades. I played three sports. I got into Michigan State University, university of my dreams. And when I got there, I decided to major in drinking and partying and minor in business. And I went on academic probation my first semester and really had to figure it out. And that's when I met Luke. And Luke really saw more in me than I saw in myself. And we decided to take the ball and run with this thing. And from two kids sitting in a dorm room, we built our first organization of young people to almost 30,000 young people, 30,000 young people all around the world that changed our lives forever. You know, guys, when I was 18, I was you know, $34,000 in student loan debt. I was terrified of public speaking. I was making $90 a week at Taco Bell, and I had never left Michigan in my entire life. Fast forward a couple of years in my first business, by the time that I was 20, I was earning a six-figure income. You know, I was able to create financial freedom at a young age. I was traveling all over the world. I went to you know, Europe actually five times. I've been to 15 different countries. I've been to 35 states. I've been able to speak on stages in front of you know, 10,000 plus people. You know, needless to say, you know, that year was you know, the best year of my life up to that point. And and then a crazy plot twist happened. You know, when you're, when you're on top, sometimes the big man upstairs decides to humble you and bring you back down to the bottom. And uh, kind of lost that first business overnight. It went from being the guy on the top of the mountain back to being the guy on the bottom of the mountain. And I spent about a year going out there and kind of figuring out exactly what it was that, you know, I wanted to do, you know, trying to figure out what I was passionate about. And, you know, spent about a year doing something I wasn't too passionate about. And it really led us to the point where back in, May of 2016, you know, I went to Mr. Luke Kessler and said, I'm not happy. He wasn't happy either. And he said, you know, let's not spend another moment doing something we're not passionate about. So we went out and we started looking and searching for another company that we could tie our dreams to. And we truly, we just couldn't find it, um, to be completely honest. And we came to the conclusion that if what we were looking for didn't yet exist, then we had to go out and create it ourselves. And that's when the idea of Watabu was born and we decided to go out and start our own company. So it's just been an incredible experience, you know, thus far, you know, a lot of people they think of, you know, 23, 24 year old kids starting their own company. It's got to be a couple of kids with a laptop and like a college apartment. Um, you know, not exactly what we decided to do is we understood that we were young. We understood we didn't have the resources, the experience to go out and run an entire corporate team or entire corporation. So we went out, we partnered up with a company. We found a company called Live Elite International and they became our parent company. So just like Facebook owns Instagram. You know, we have a parent company called Live Elite International that runs the entire corporate side of our business. Been around for about 10 years, but they allowed us to come in and create our own company underneath their umbrella. They allowed us to go out there and um, you know write the marketing plan. They allowed us to um, you know write the compensation plan for our brand ambassadors. You know help with all of the corporate stuff to create our own company, something for young people by young people. And it's just been an incredible experience since May creating that. And what we've really been able to create is the first ever international travel and adventure club. And Lori did such a great job explaining to you guys what we're all about. This whole idea of living a life worth talking about, figuring out, you know, what does living a life worth talking about mean to you in your own eyes? She talked about our travel portal, the ridiculous discounts and deals that we're getting on flights, hotels, resorts, condos, cruises, vacation homes, golf, skiing, adventures, excursions, all things travel related. We truly have our hands in. She talked about our amazing getaway trip. She talked about our trip to Mexico. You know, we're going to Lake Powell in June and it's just absolutely unbelievable. You know, the cool trips that we're able to, you know, bring people onto, um, you know, all around the world. We create experiences that people will never forget and we give them at a price that they can actually afford. So our getaway trips are unbelievable. We have a bunch scheduled out through the rest of the year. She talked about some of our, you know, Watabu weekends, the Zorb soccer and the air mattress races down the natural water slide. She talked about our Watabu challenge, our video contest where you can earn a free trip by filming yourself doing things worth talking about. And she talked about our community. Okay. Our community of like-minded entrepreneurs, explorers, adventurers, artists, people who are passionate about what we do. So it's an unbelievable community guys. And you can have access to being a part of this community for $29 a month. $29 a month. It's nothing crazy. You know, as young people, we spend more money on beer, weed, and alcohol in a single night 
than it costs to be a part of Watabu for an entire month. So people definitely see the value in what it is that we have you know, here with Watabu for $29 a month. It's unbelievable value. You know, Lori's daughter, Caitlin, I believe she's on this call. She went out and she saved over a thousand dollars within our travel portal, booking a flight from Detroit to Paris, France. She booked her flight five days before the flight actually left. And on Expedia, it was $1,700 and through Watabu, she got it for $680, saved over a thousand dollars on a flight paid for her membership years over. So there's incredible value within what we do on top of the getaway trips, on top of the Watabu Challenge, on top of the Watabu Weekends, on top of the community. For $29 a month, it makes sense. And if it makes sense to you, it's going to make sense to others. And if it makes sense to others, you should truly consider looking into our brand ambassador program. Now, our brand ambassador program, we don't have traditional forms of advertising, marketing. We don't do commercials, print ads, or billboards. Instead, we pay people like you to go out and share this with your friends, to share this with your family, to share this with your coworkers. Anybody who decides they want to be a brand ambassador, what we do is we give them their own website, their first name and their last name, .watabu.com. Anybody goes to their website and gets started, um, you're going to go out there and you're going to create a commission based upon um, you know, the uh, membership that that person decides to get started on. It's very, very simple. We've got memberships ranging from our free trial to our simple general membership at $29 a month, our annual membership, as well as our premium membership, where you actually get a three-day vacation included, which is pretty unbelievable. But different membership options, obviously different benefits depending on the membership that you go out there and choose. But anybody who goes to your website, purchases a membership, you're going to go out and you're going to create a commission. Now, what's really cool is that anybody can choose to be a customer or a brand ambassador. Now, if they choose to be a brand ambassador through your website, they also get their own website. Now, it's not just you. Now, you're on a team. Now, it's not just who you tell. Now, it's also who they tell and who they tell and who they tell. What's so cool about this business is you can get paid for going out there and getting 10 customers. That's awesome. You can get 10 customers, but now imagine if you had 10 customers and you had 10 brand ambassadors who each got 10 customers. Now you're not just getting paid for 10 customers, you're getting paid for 110 customers. So it's not about 100% of your effort, it's about 1% of 100 people's effort. It's such an incredible business model. Network marketing, if you've never heard of it before, it's a $187 billion industry, billion with a B. It did more in revenue last year than the NFL, the NHL, the NBA, the MLB, the professional um, you know, athletics industry as a whole, the professional gaming industry as a whole, music combined. Network marketing did more, which is unbelievable. It's the second highest producer of millionaires next to professional athletics. 87% you know, of women who earn a six-figure income do it in a home-based business like network marketing. So you know, what I love about what we do is it's truly an opportunity for anybody if they put in a little bit of effort to go out there and get from where they're at to where they truly want to be. Here at Watabu, what we've done is we've created a platform that allows people to travel for less. It's allowed people to plug into an amazing community of people all around the world that are like-minded, that want to help you go out there and reach your goals. It's also providing you a practical vehicle to be able to go out there and create a part-time or a full-time income simply by referring it to your friends, your family, your coworkers, and building a team of people, a network of people. We're networking a product and a service through a network of people. We're using word-of-mouth advertising, the most powerful form of advertising in the world, to spread the awareness. How did you hear about Facebook? You didn't hear about it from a commercial. You heard about it from a friend. You probably had MySpace, and then your friend said, delete MySpace, everybody get on Facebook. Now everybody's got a Facebook. Now we got Instagram from Instagram to Snapchat, from Snapchat back to Instagram. Um, so it's, uh, it's crazy, guys, all through word of mouth advertising. That's the business of the 21st century. So whether you want to go out there and create a part-time income, you want to create a full-time income, you just want to go out there and dip your toes in the water, you want to experience you know, being a part of this club, you know, we have different tracks for anybody to run on, for anybody to grow on. It really just comes down to what is the right fit for you. So if you really vibe with our culture, if you vibe with the idea of living a life worth talking about, if you want to go out there and you want to go on to a trip that could change your life forever, if you want to create a part-time or a full-time income, we've got something for you. So my recommendation to you is to get back with the person who invited you onto this call because they like you, they care about you, they respect you, they think this is something that A, you can be really good at, or B, this is something that could positively affect your life. They invited you onto this call for a reason. So don't count this out. But also, once again, don't follow it blindly. Question it logically until you fully understand it and make sure it's going to be the right fit for you. And if it turns out to not be the right fit for you, no hard feelings whatsoever. We truly do hope you do figure out what is the right fit for you. 
Because as I stated before, guys, you know, for me, I personally wasn't happy. I don't believe you should spend a single moment on this earth being unhappy. And if you want something different, you got to do something different. If you want the things in your life to change, sometimes you have to go out there and change a few things in your life. I made a simple change to this business and this movement, and it changed my entire life forever. You know, as Lori stated, you know, five years, no boss, no job, no clocking in, the ability to do what I want, when I want, where I want, with whoever I want, however I want every single day. And that's not to brag. It's just to show you guys um, that freedom is possible. Okay, it is possible, and this is a vehicle that could potentially take you one step closer to where you truly want to be. So, last thing I'll end on, guys, remember, you know, think about this question. You know, what does living a life worth talking about mean to you? Okay, what does living a life worth talking about mean to you? Because it means something different to every single person in the world. Really define what does that mean to you? And then hopefully we can help you get from point A where you're at to point B where you truly want to be. With Habu can be the bridge from point A to point B. It's the vehicle. It's the platform, okay? And there's a million ways to go out there and be successful in this world. But there's not a lot of ways to go out and be successful together with your friends, your family, your coworkers. Um, and that's what we have here. We've got something absolutely amazing. So get back with the friend who brought you onto this call. Once again, you know, they want to get your questions answered. They want to find out if this is the right fit for you. But with that, guys, everybody have an absolutely amazing night. Thank you so much for spending 27 minutes on this call. Time is valuable. You'll never get it back. You spent it here with us. So we appreciate your time so much. Everybody have a fantastic night. We'll talk soon.